Wake Life is proudly brought to you by Trojan Wake Ski Snow MB Boats and Indie Wakeboards and Accessories. Yeah, keep it right there. Hey and welcome to Wake Life. Today we are bringing you our 100% dedicated wakeboarding show from this magnificent MB boat. Now I'm pretty excited about today's episode as we're heading around the country covering the best riders, events and products on the market. Now up next we head to Windsor in Sydney for Trojan's annual free for all event. We're here this morning on the beautiful Hawkesbury River. The sun's out, the water's glassy, and we're here for the 2011-2012 Trojan Free For All Ride Day. We've got heaps of gear here, the water's great, let's go and have a play. Here with the lovely Glenn Faust from Trojan Wake Ski and Snow. Glenn, tell us a little bit about the Trojan Free For All Ride Day. Yeah, basically what we've done is invited all our customers to come along and try any of the boards and boots here today that our suppliers have been kind enough to bring for us. We've got Liquid Force, O'Brien, Conley, CWB, uh, Radar, Ronix, uh, HO and Hyperlight all represented with the, probably most of their range here. Anybody can come along try a board, a boot, a ski, um, hopefully uh, like what they like and take it home with them. Fantastic, so you can mix and match whatever board and bindings you like, it doesn't matter what brand or what style? No, whatever the, the customer wants they can have. It's what, a fan what a fantastic opportunity for people to try these boards out and of course the good thing about it is it's free. Yep, absolutely. We're here with Paul from Liquid Force and O'Brien. Paul, tell us a little bit about the types of boards that Trojan has in the store and how you can try them out. Okay, um, Trojan actually has a pretty extensive demo range this year. I mean, it, it's good to have a demo range in a shop like Trojan uh, for the simple fact is you can come down, you can try any board you like. Um, you know, you can speak so much tech about boards, but at the end of the day, it's what your personal opinion is of how the board rides for you on the water. So just gives you a great choice to come down and try two, three or four boards and, um, you know, figure out what it's like and what's the right board for you at the same time. So we've just had the latest shipment of boards in from, from Liquid Force. Do tell us a little bit about which one's your favourite this season. Well, there's a couple this year, actually. I mean, the, the Rave at the moment is probably your hybrid boards, which is pretty much the newest board technology there is available on the market at the moment. So which one would be your top suggestion for the girls? For the girls, you've got Amber's board, which um, you ride yourself, obviously. You're a lover of uh, Amber, your bestie. But um, Melissa Hybrid seems to take off really well, too, as it, um, it definitely makes a female riding a little bit more aggressive having that spring through the board being the hybrid that it is so uh do you tell us a little bit about your boys choice boys choice um i mean i'd love to say the hybrids i mean like i said before the hybrids are definitely taken off now um it's proven technology which works works really well so it's a different construction compared to a normal boat board it's uh You've got your liquid dura rails, you've got a uh, blended core with PU foam and timber core so, and naturally with timber it bends one way, springs back the other so it does increase your pop at the same time but um, I'd have to say Harley, I mean Jimmy Redman, obviously Liquid Forces board designer, has um, got together with Harley and they've met up with uh, an actual surfboard shaper which um, is actually from Australia at the same time. So. so is this new technology for the boards to have some surfboard influence into the wakeboards? Well, it, it is in the Liquid Force range this year. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's ever been any board that has had uh, influence from a surfboard shaper. So, but um, Harley took it out, and he absolutely loves it. I mean, proof's in the pudding, really. You watch Harley ride; he's the number one in the world. So, the proof certainly is in the pudding with that kid. That's for sure.
So do tell us a little bit about the closed toe binding. It seems to be that there's only one or two options available in an open toe now. Do you think that going into the future we're always going to have a closed toe binding? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, Liquid Force used to bring out your Watsons and your Shanes and your Sovens. They used to come out in an open toe and a closed toe, but um, Liquid Force were the first company to bring out a closed toe binding, which was many, many years ago now, which actually didn't take off. So, um, But now, as you'd go through most companies, everyone's top-end boots were a closed toe binding, so it gives you more of a snug fit, gives you more response with your heel and toe. Um, but on the flip side of that, you got Bob Sovin at the same time, who's also brought out an open toe binding with a Velcro strap down the bottom. So, you know, some people do prefer the old open toe bindings, and uh, but most of the majority love the closed toe, and I can't see them going away. Hey, Dean, it's great to see you back on Australian shores. Yeah, good to be back. Welcome home. Tell us a little bit about the 2012 Ronix Pro model that you've got for us this season. Yeah, I've got the uh, my Marnie here. This is the 2012. Um, this is actually the third year that I've uh, that I've had this shape. I had the option of um, either keeping the shape for this year or uh, doing a new one, and then went over with the guys with Ronix and we're like, let's keep it. The shape's working. I really uh, really enjoy riding it. So we've basically just changed the graphics up a little bit. Still the same theme, the dark earthy colours, but uh, stoked how it's come out. Does it have a little bit of California Orlando style on the back of it? Flip it over for us. Palm trees on air, keeping it nice and tropical. It's beautiful. <laughs> it looks great. Um, we also want to talk to you today a little bit about the Defy movie, the Danny Half movie you've been working on. Now, I was lucky enough to watch a film, some of that overseas this year in the States. Uh, it looked amazing. When's it due out? And tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's due out uh, very, very soon. It's uh, They've pushed it back as much as they can just because they don't want to release it until it's completely done. I know Sean Kilgus is a perfectionist and I know Danny doesn't want it released until he's completely happy with it. So we actually wrapped up filming at Radar at, uh, at the Ronix uh, Dealer Week. Uh, we had a cool, pretty cool pool set up that's been on the... Uh, on the on the teaser at the moment so we've got finished uh, filming up there and basically been two years in the making and I think it's going to blow some minds. Are you excited for your footage to be coming out on that? Yeah I was happy we uh, I had I had some pretty solid uh, filming sessions with it two years of radar and then we had some stuff at the Blue Lake hitting some double ups so we uh, we had a lot going on and I hopefully I'll have a pretty solid part I was happy with all the, the stuff that I got on film so I'm pumped just to see how it comes out. I'm actually more excited just to see, uh, uh, well, I'm pumped to see uh, all Danny's footage. I think it's going to blow some minds with uh, what he's done. And he did film some of that in Australia, didn't he? Yeah, he came out. That was actually with um, another trip. He had uh, Watson, Shane, a couple of the other guys came out and filmed up on the Gold Coast, did some towing. So a little bit different. There's all, it's, it's, I think that's one of the cool things about the video is that he's uh, basically not going to have a single wake-to-wake -wake trick out in the movie. It's not, not going to be one. It's all going to be double-ups, rails, all this sort of uh, crazy stuff. So it's going to be a little bit different.
with me now is Stu from Torrens Wakeboarding and Ski School. Stu, please tell us a little bit about what you're doing here on the Trojan Free For All Ride Day. We're just down here with the North Heath and helping out with some riders, taking them around so they can try out some new equipment, new boards, new skis, and they can check out the North Heath boat. Here with Jacob Ferguson, who loves to ride in the winter, so we're here. He's been hitting up Cable and the Hawkesbury all winter long. Now summer's just hitting us and the new Hyperlite boards are installed. Do tell us a little bit about the 2012 range. 2012 range, better colours, better features. Marek's just gotten really good, really impressive. Um, there's just been so many things, like uh, the system boots have just been improved a lot more, like to toe caps, to laces, to the whole binding, so it's really improvement. And what is your board of choice for the Trojan viewers to come down and try? I'd say the Hyperlite Murray 137, that's what I ride. I'm really stoked on it. You find it at Trojan, Wake Screen Snow in uh, Windsor. And yeah, it's a really good board to ride, I love it. Stu from Ronix, how are you, Stu? I'm um, good. We're, you know, it's a beautiful day down here. I couldn't possibly think of anywhere better to be. For sure, it's uh, definitely, uh, definitely good times. Tell us a little bit about what you've got in your hand. You know what? We um, you know, just got all the 2012 Ronex boards in, and really excited about a, a new one board shape that we're uh, we're doing right now. Danny Half obviously has uh, been designing really good boards for years, and uh, this is his latest version. And uh, yeah, we, we changed the shape this year. It's a lot faster and uh, really easy to ride. So uh, I'm sure a lot of people are really going to enjoy it this year. Now I've noticed you've added some extra little bits and pieces on the boards this year. Do you tell us a bit about that. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a little bit of bling on there now. We've uh, we've been trying to uh, add a few little logos and uh, add some uh, extra colours in uh, some of these boards. So. Uh, we're definitely trying to uh, bling it up a little bit, for sure. Doohickeys, I think, is the technical term for them. <laughs> now, uh, we're here for the Trojan Free For All Ride Day. What would you suggest that everybody kits up and has a go of today? You know what, I think it's pretty amazing that we have uh, stores like Trojan doing events like this. This is, uh, yeah, it's really cool that people can come down and try boards. And uh, I'd say definitely everyone should get into uh, places like Trojan, go and try some uh, demo boards, definitely demo the new one board and uh, you know, support your local pro shop. These guys are doing a lot for the industry. So there you have it folks, a first hand view at the 2011-2012 season range of boards. Get yourself down to Trojan and try them for yourselves. Stay tuned because after the break we're taking one of these MB Sports out for a test run on Victoria's Lake Eildon for our first instalment of this season's Boat Buyer's Guide. Yeah, keep it right there. Right there. 